Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. Guys, we have a brand new trailer for the Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yaiba movie, which is actually going to be here pretty soon, at least in Japanese theaters. It hits Japanese theaters in about two months, and we won't have to wait too much longer after that because they actually said today that it'll be hitting theaters in Canada and the U.S. in early 2021, which I don't know what that means for other places in the world, but for me, hopefully I'm going to be able to see it sometime early 2021. And I've already talked about this in like my other trailer reactions, but in terms of me doing a reaction to the movie, I don't even know if that's going to happen because if I can see Kometsu no Yaiba on the big screen for the first time and with this movie, then I'm definitely going to, to do that. But either way, you guys will hear or see my thoughts in some fashion when that time comes. I know we're kind of looking towards the future. That's like a bunch of months away, but just wanted to kind of reiterate that what we're here to do right now though is check out this trailer the third trailer i don't know if this is going to be the final one because it's going to be in japanese theaters in about two months so it's really not that long M maybe it is because they're actually giving us a bit of the theme song from lisa who who else right who who else would be on the theme song for the movie it's just a no-brainer honestly with how popular her song was and how great her song was from season one so that's honestly probably the thing i'm most excited about with this trailer to to see or to hear actually is a little bit uh, of that theme song but they're probably going to give us some more new content in here i'm really excited for that i'm just excited to see what we're going to have from the from the trailer because what we kind of already know is that there's going to be a big Rengoku focus obviously the boys Nezuko um, are here on the train as well and there's that demon that Muzan gave some of his blood to at the end of season one and there's some kind of like dream or nightmare type ability or something going on there uh, with that so we'll see what we have with the trailer guys we're going to hop into it yep there's the train <laughs> this whole thing I guess is going to be set in all its glory and whatever madness is it what the hell? Oh my god, you see how creepy looking that thing was? <laughs> oh yeah, here's the whole thing, the demon like with the dreams, Enmu. I didn't even remember his name, I just remembered the whole dream thing, yeah, which Tanjiro was like tied up there, I think? Oh, that's not right. That's not right, because there's probably going to be a whole bunch of feels when it comes, they may even do that with other characters too, like, I don't know. Oh my god, man. Here's the Lisa track. Omura. Nezuko. Red Goku. Yo, look at all this. Like, what are those slugs or something? Yo. Those slugs were like putting me off, though. Like, ugh. In those case, and Nichu came in like that, though. Of course. I'll protect Nezuko. Of course. You had to throw that in there. I think they'll give us an action cut? Yep, a little one. They gonna tease us a little bit. Okay. Mmm. Clean. That's just like a tease, though, man. They they just uh. I, I know that's the point, but they're they're like they're being smart about it. They're not showing us too much. They're just like, like yeah, we're still here, right? It's it's coming. There's still probably a lot more, obviously, that they could show us, like that they could probably include in this trailer. That's bonkers in terms of like maybe an animated cut or something like that like a crazy fight scene but they're, they're kind of hiding that from us and i gotta talk about the lisa track because the lisa track obviously isn't like kind of as pumped up it's more like slower paced i would say at least from the bit we heard here like compared to the you know song from season one which it makes sense because probably this song is going to be playing at the end when the credits are rolling after everything is over after everything's done it's probably going to be some crazy emotional shit all around right so then when that song I, I like it's not really hitting me in the feels now but i feel like at the end of the movie after everything goes down whatever's about to go down when that song is playing over the credits rolling i, I can already say i'm probably not going to be ready for that but the trailer as a whole i mean really it's just like like i said they're not showing too much i think that they're showing just the right amount obviously to keep us entertained to keep us kind of like oh we want more we want more right we're fiending for more which they definitely did a good job of that that cut with Enmu and Tanjiro was actually really clean and those uh in those case especially when Zenitsu came in like that that was clean as hell uh saying he'll protect Nezuko the whole dream thing though I mean like Tanjiro saying I'm sorry I'm sorry him not being able to you know protect or save his family like yeah that that, that ain't right and they, they so they're gonna do that with Tanjiro Maybe they do that with some other characters. I, I really want to, like, I liked what we had with Rengoku, but we didn't have really all that much with him in Season 1, obviously, which this movie here 
which he's gonna have a huge focus in it this is where i think for rengoku according to a lot of you guys where he became like a fan favorite you know so i'm really curious to see you'll get more of that maybe through this whole dream thing we get like some of his past or just some of the other characters past maybe that we have not even saw before or just I don't know, they can have a huge emotional impact, even if it's things we've already saw or have had before. It can add more to the to the emotional impact for sure, which I can already tell that's definitely going to be the case with, with Tanjiro. So, I don't know, man. Um, it, it looks great as usual, that foldable greatness. We already know, especially movie quality, that the, you know, the production value is going to be there. But really, when you think about it, they didn't show all too much in, in the trailer. Like, we already kind of knew about the whole dream thing that's going on i would say the biggest thing honestly with this trailer is that cut at the end with tanjo and enmu um in in the lisa track honestly and i mean the, the rengoku stuff is cool too but we really didn't get all too much honestly when you when you think about it um so maybe this isn't the final trailer i was saying maybe it is the final trailer maybe it isn't though because they didn't really show all too much here when you really think about it but I'm excited, uh, obviously, for 2021, whenever I can see the movie in theaters. Hopefully, I can. I mean, I feel like the furthest I would go is maybe an hour or two to, to watch the film. So, it has to be near me somewhere, like, for crying out loud. Hopefully, right? Fingers crossed. So, yeah, guys. Let me know what you all thought of this trailer for Demon Slayer uh, Kometsu no Yaiba. The movie is coming to Japan in about two months. And then we'll be hitting the rest of the world, hopefully, early 2021 i hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to this one if you guys did make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching peace out